In this lesson, we are going to take the Arrhenius and Bronsted theories that we learnt about previously and use that to try identify acids and bases. So I would suggest that you pause the video and have a look at these two chemicals on the left and try to see what happened to them when going on to the right hand side or when going to products because that is how you can identify if something is an acid or a base. Can you see what has actually happened here? If we look at this HF, this HF gave its hydrogen away to the H2O and so the H2O was able to become H3O whereas the hydrogen fluoride now has one less hydrogen. So if we look at the HF we can see that it is definitely an Arrhenius acid as it produced, can you see that it produces H3O plus in water as it produced H3O plus in water. It is also a Bronsted acid as it gave away a proton, as it gave away a proton. A proton is a H plus. So the HF gave its H plus away to the H2O and so that is how we were able to produce H3O plus. If you are a student who struggles with the plus and the minus and th seeing how does something become positive and negative, let me quickly show you. What we have is we have a proton that is being given away. So think about this, this proton is positive. So look at this water molecule here. Does it have a charge? No, it is neutral. Then all of a sudden, a positive hydrogen is going to be added on to it. So that is why there are now three hydrogens, and that is why the molecule is now overall positive, because something positive has been added to it. Now have a look at this HF. What is it at the moment? It is neutral. But then it loses, it loses a positive proton, so that means it must become negative because it, it was neutral and then it gave away that positive proton, so it is now negative. Now I want us to focus on this H2O. So let's say H2O. That H2O is not an Arrhenius base. Remember that our Arrhenius base has to produce OH minus. We can't see any OH minus here. So we will say not an Arrhenius base. Why? Because it's not producing OH minus in water. And that is what an Arrhenius base does. It is going to be a Bronsted base. as it accepts a proton. Can you see that it, it accepted a proton from the HF? And so it is definitely a Bronsted base. Here's our next example. So once again, I would highly suggest, pause the video, try this yourself first. So we're gonna start with the HNO3 and look at what the HNO3 did. It gave its hydrogen away to the water molecule and so the water molecule was able to become H3O and look how it also becomes positive because it gained something that is positive. Then can you see that this HNO3 has given away its proton and so see what it becomes on the other side? It becomes NO3 but because it's given something positive away it is now negative. So we can say that it is definitely an Arrhenius acid. Why? Because it, or let's say as it produces H3O in water. It is also going to be an Arrhenius, I mean a <laughs> Bronsted acid. Oh, all these A's and B's are confusing. It's a Bronsted acid as it gave away a proton. And remember, a proton is a H+. So it gave an H+, away. 
Now we can have a look at the H2O molecule. And what we can see is that it is not an Arrhenius base. As it did not produce OH minus. Okay, we can't see any OH minus in the products. However, it will be a Bronsted base. Why? It accepted a hydrogen, or it accepted a proton, as it accepted a proton. So I'm sure by now you guys are getting a very good idea of exactly what an acid is, what a base is, and how to identify it as Arrhenius or Bronsted. Here's another example. So now we only have one thing to look at. So we're going to look at NaOH. So it is not an acid. Full stop. It is not an acid. If you want to say why, we could say because of the Arrhenius theory, we could say did not produce H3O plus in water and also Bronsted as it did not give away a proton. So it is not an acid at all. It is definitely going to be um, a, a, a base. So we'll say is a base. But it can't be a Bronsted, but it will be Arrhenius. It is an Arrhenius base as it gave away, or no, it produced, sorry, OH minus. Now, it is not a Bronsted base as it did not accept a proton. And here's our last example. So once again, pause the video, try this one yourself. So we'll start off with the HCl. Can you see what's happening here? This HCl gave its hydrogen away to NH3, and so the NH3 was able to become NH4. But can you see that we are not producing any H3O+, so we'll say not Arrhenius acid, as it did not produce H3O+. However, it will be a Bronsted acid, as it gave away a proton. Now we can look at NH3. So it will not be a Arrhenius base. How come? It does not produce any OH minuses. Can you see that? There are no OH minuses. As it did not produce OH minus. However, it will be a Bronsted base. as it accepts a proton. And so there we have it. I really do believe that by now you should have a very good idea of how to classify something as an acid or a base, and even further than that, you have a good idea of whether it's Arrhenius or Bronsted.